Have you ever pondered over what makes some people happier than others when they hit the age of 50 and over? Well, the answer may surprise you. It's not about the size of their bank account or the number of vacations they take each year. It's actually rooted in the fascinating fields of psychology and neuroscience. Research has found that our perceptions of joy and contentment can evolve as we age. That's because our brain chemistry changes over time, influencing our emotions and how we perceive the world around us. Interestingly, these changes can often lead to increased emotional well-being. Studies have shown that as we get older, we tend to focus more on positive experiences, brushing off the negative ones. This shift in focus allows us to maintain a more positive outlook on life, boosting our overall happiness. So as you see, aging can actually enhance our ability to experience joy and contentment. Now you might ask, how can we enhance this natural capability to live joyfully after 50? Well, one of the most effective ways is by staying active, both physically and mentally. Engaging in regular exercise, even something as simple as a brisk walk around the block, can do wonders for your physical health and mood. And remember, it's not just about breaking a sweat. It's about moving your body in ways that bring you joy and keep you motivated. Coupled with exercise, good nutrition is also crucial. Eating a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins and whole grains can fuel your body and mind, keeping you energized throughout the day. But let's not forget about mental activity. Engaging in stimulating activities like reading, puzzles or learning a new skill can keep your mind sharp and agile. You see, staying active and healthy isn't just about adding years to your life, but adding life to your years. Staying active and healthy is a key component of living joyfully after 50. Beyond physical health, finding meaning and purpose in life is crucial to our happiness. You see, as we cross the threshold of 50, we often find ourselves at a crossroads, reflecting on our past while contemplating our future. And it's during these moments that we realize the importance of having a purpose, a passion or a cause that truly resonates with our inner selves. It could be a hobby that you've always loved, a cause that you feel strongly about, or a passion that you've always wanted to pursue. Finding or rediscovering these interests can bring a profound sense of fulfillment. It could be as simple as picking up a paintbrush after years, volunteering for a local charity, or even starting a book club. These activities not only enrich our lives, but also provide us with a sense of direction, a reason to wake up every morning with a smile, Remember, it's never too late to find or rediscover your purpose. Another vital factor in promoting happiness is our social connections. You see, humans are social beings by nature. We thrive on interaction, communication and shared experiences. As we age, these social connections become even more crucial. They provide a sense of belonging, offer emotional support and can even boost our mental and physical health. So how can we nurture and expand our social networks? It's simpler than you might think. Being active in your community is a great start. Joining clubs or groups that align with your interests not only offers a chance to meet new people, but it also provides a platform to share your passions. Volunteering is another excellent way to connect. It allows us to contribute to causes we care about while building meaningful relationships. Remember, it's never too late to make new friends or reconnect with old ones. Strong social connections can greatly enhance our joy and fulfillment in life. Lastly, let's talk about change. Life after 50 often brings about many changes, some of which might be challenging. But it's important to remember that change is a natural part of life, and it's how we respond to these changes that truly matters. This is where the concept of resilience comes into play. Resilience is not about avoiding difficulties, but rather about bouncing back and growing from them. It's about developing a mindset that sees challenges as opportunities for growth and learning. So how can we embrace change with optimism and grace? One way is to maintain a positive attitude, focusing on the things we can control and letting go of those we can't. Another is to stay connected with others, sharing our experiences and drawing strength from our relationships. And remember, it's never too late to learn new skills or pursue new interests. Embracing change and cultivating resilience can help us navigate the golden years with joy and fulfillment. Now that we've talked about embracing change and resilience, 
Let's move on to our next topic. Cultivating a lifelong learner's mindset. After 50, you might feel like you've seen it all, done it all. But the world is an ever-evolving place full of new discoveries and experiences. Adopting a lifelong learner's mindset can keep your brain active and your spirit young. It's about embracing curiosity, seeking knowledge and remaining open to new experiences. This could be as simple as picking up a new hobby, learning a new language or even going back to school. Remember, age is just a number and it's never too late to learn something new. When you continually learn and grow, you not only enrich your own life, but also contribute to the lives of those around you. So here's to never stopping, never ceasing to learn, and never losing the wonder of discovery. And remember, the best is yet to come. Stay tuned for our closing thoughts, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments for our future videos.